Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the world of Open Source Intelligence, or OSINT, and I'm going to show you some of the best OSINT tools available in Kali Linux. Whether you're a penetration tester, a cybersecurity enthusiast, or just curious about OSINT, these tools will help you gather information effectively. All right, let's jump right in and explore the fascinating world of OSINT and see how these tools can be your digital magnifying glass. First up, we have Maltego, and let me tell you, this tool is a beast. Imagine you're a digital detective trying to piece together clues about a target. Maltego is like your trusty magnifying glass, but instead of fingerprints, it helps you uncover connections between data points. We're talking about people, companies, domains, IP addresses, the whole shebang. What sets Maltego apart is its graphical interface. It's like having a giant whiteboard where you can visually map out all the relationships you discover. You start with a single piece of information, maybe an email address or a domain name, and then Maltego goes to work, spidering its way across the web, finding links and connections you wouldn't believe. Let's say you're investigating a company. You can use Maltego to find out who works there, their positions, their email addresses, and even their social media profiles. Then you can see if those employees are connected to any other companies or individuals of interest. It's like connecting the dots, but on a massive scale. But Maltego doesn't stop there. It can also uncover hidden infrastructure like web servers and mail servers associated with a domain. It can even show you the physical location of those servers on a map. Now, Maltego does have a bit of a learning curve. It's not exactly drag and drop easy, but trust me, once you get the hang of it, it's like having a superpower. And the best part, Maltego has a community edition that's completely free to use. So if you're just starting out in OSINT or want to tinker around with a powerful tool, Maltego is definitely worth checking out. Up next, we have another amazing tool that's a favorite among OSINT enthusiasts. Stay tuned. All right, moving on to our second tool, and this one's a personal favorite, the Harvester. This tool is all about gathering those precious email addresses, subdomains, and other juicy tidbits of information from the vast expanse of the internet. Think of the Harvester as your trusty bloodhound sniffing out email addresses from the digital undergrowth. You give it a target, like a company name or a domain, and it scours search engines, social media platforms, and even those obscure corners of the web to find any email address associated with your target. Now you might be thinking, why do I need a tool for this? Can I just use Google? Well, yes you could, but the Harvester takes it to a whole new level. It automates the process and digs deeper than your average Google search. It can even find email addresses that aren't publicly listed on websites. And the best part? The Harvester is incredibly easy to use. It's a command line tool, but don't let that scare you. The commands are pretty straightforward. You just tell it what to search for and where to search, and it does the rest. For example, let's say you want to find all the email addresses associated with a company called Example Company. You would simply open up your terminal, type in the Harvester command, specify the domain name examplecompany.com, comma, and hit enter. The tool will then go to work, scouring various sources for any email addresses it can find. But the Harvester doesn't stop at email addresses. It can also uncover subdomains, which are basically smaller websites within a larger domain. Overall, the Harvester is a must-have tool for anyone doing OSINT work. Stick around because we're just getting started. Up next, we'll be looking at a tool that's like the Swiss Army knife of OSINT. Don't miss it. Chapter 3, Recon Eng, your web-based intelligence gathering powerhouse. All right, let's talk about Recon Eng, and this one is a game changer, especially if you're not a fan of staring at command lines all day. Recon Eng brings the power of OSINT to your web browser with its sleek and intuitive web-based interface. Now, don't let the fancy interface fool you. Recon Eng is just as powerful as any command line tool out there. It's built on a modular framework, which means you can customize it to your heart's content. Think of it like building your own OSINT toolkit, adding and removing modules depending on your needs. But what exactly can you do with Recon Eng? Well, pretty much anything you can do with other OSINT tools and probably more. You can use it to gather information about domains, IP addresses, companies, people, you name it. One of the coolest things about Recon Eng is its ability to automate reconnaissance tasks. 
You can create custom workflows that automatically gather information from various sources, saving you tons of time and effort. For example, let's say you're investigating a company and want to find all their employees on LinkedIn. You can set up a Recon Ang workflow that automatically searches LinkedIn for profiles that match the company name and then extracts relevant information like names, job titles, and email addresses. And the best part, Recon Ang is constantly evolving. So if you're looking for a powerful and versatile OSINT tool that's also easy to use, Recon Ang is definitely worth checking out. But we're not done yet. We've still got two more amazing tools to cover, so keep those peepers glued to the screen. Chapter 4. Spiderfoot, your automated OSINT investigator. All right, buckle up because we're about to dive into the world of automated OSINT with Spiderfoot, a tool that's basically like having your own private investigator on speed dial. But instead of tailing suspects and digging through trash cans, Spiderfoot scours the digital world for clues, and it does it all automatically. Imagine this. You give Spiderfoot a target, whether it's an IP address, a domain name, an email address, or even an entire network, and it goes to work, spidering its way across the internet, gathering every single bit of information it can find. And when I say everything, I mean everything. We're talking about IP addresses, domain names, subdomains, email addresses, phone numbers, social media profiles, website content, the whole nine yards. Spiderfoot leaves no stone unturned. But here's where it gets really interesting. Spiderfoot doesn't just dump a bunch of raw data on you and call it a day. It analyzes the data it collects, connects the dots, and presents you with a comprehensive report that's easy to understand and even easier to act on. For example, let's say you're a security analyst tasked with assessing the security posture of your company's network. You can use Spiderfoot to scan your network for any potential vulnerabilities. Spiderfoot will then crawl through your network, looking for open ports, misconfigured services, and other security weaknesses. Once it's done scanning, Spiderfoot will generate a detailed report highlighting any vulnerabilities it found, along with recommendations on how to fix them. But Spiderfoot isn't just for security professionals, it's also an incredibly valuable tool for anyone who needs to gather information quickly and efficiently. So if you're looking for an automated OSINT tool that can do it all, Spiderfoot is definitely worth checking out. But hold on, we're not quite done yet. We've got one more tool to cover and it's a bit different from the others. Stay tuned. Chapter five, OSINT framework, your one-stop shop for OSINT resources. All right, for our final act, we're switching gears a bit. We've covered some incredibly powerful OSINT tools, but sometimes you need a little guidance a roadmap to navigate the vast and ever-expanding world of open source intelligence. That's where the OSINT framework comes in, your one-stop shop for all things OSINT. Now, the OSINT framework isn't a tool in the traditional sense. It's more like a giant repository of OSINT resources, a curated collection of links to websites, tools, and databases that can help you find the information you need. Think of it like a giant library, but instead of dusty books, you've got links to the most up-to-date OSINT resources available. And the best part? It's all organized by category, so whether you're looking for social media profiles, financial records, company data, or even satellite imagery, you can find it all in the OSINT framework. Let's say you're trying to track down a long-lost friend. You could start by searching their name on social media, but what if they're using an alias or have a common name? That's where the OSINT framework comes in. It can point you to specialized search engines, people search databases, and even reverse image search tools that can help you find your friend, even if they're trying to stay hidden, or maybe you're a journalist working on a story about a particular company. The OSINT framework can help you find company filings, financial statements, employee profiles, and even legal documents, all from reputable sources. The beauty of the OSINT framework is that it's constantly being updated with new resources. So whether you're a seasoned OSINT professional or just starting out, the OSINT framework is an invaluable resource. And there you have it, folks. Five amazing OSINT tools that can help you uncover a wealth of information, all from the comfort of your own keyboard. Now I'm curious to hear from you. Which of these tools are you most excited to try out? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more awesome content. That's it for today's OSINT adventure. So there you have it, folks. 
We've explored the exciting world of OSINT and uncovered five powerful tools that can help you gather information like a pro. From Maltego's visual relationship mapping to the harvester's email hunting prowess, Recon Ang's customizable framework, Spiderfoot's automated investigations, and the OSINT framework's vast repository of resources, you're now well equipped to tackle any OSINT challenge that comes your way. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Always use these tools ethically and legally and respect people's privacy. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more cybersecurity tips and tricks. Let me know in the comments which OSINT tool is your favorite or if there are any others you recommend. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.